The debate about who is the greatest Formula One driver of all time has revolved for years, mainly around two legendary figures, being that of Sir Lewis Hamilton and Michael Schumacher. Both have left indelible marks on the sport, both have shattered records, and both have rewritten what it means to be successful in Formula One. But as the sport enters the final stretch of the 2024 season, it is time to acknowledge that this debate has in fact reached its conclusion. While Schumacher's contributions to Formula One are undeniable, Lewis Hamilton has surpassed him in ways that are both statistical and intangible, creating a legacy that is simply more expansive, more impressive, and ultimately more complete. Lewis Hamilton's numbers are staggering. His 350 race starts, 105 race wins, 104 pole positions, 201 podiums, and 67 fastest laps put him at the very top of the sport's history books. In contrast, Schumacher, a final tally of 306 race starts, 91 wins, 68 poles, 155 podiums, and 77 fastest laps highlights a pattern of statistical superiority on Hamilton's side. But raw numbers tell only part of the story, and context here is everything. Schumacher's 91 victories were amassed during a period of Ferrari dominance in the early 2000s, where he frequently raced with an overwhelming car advantage, built around him by the team's technical guru Ross Braun and designer Rory Byrne. During those years, Ferrari was often a class above the field, with Schumacher sometimes facing little meaningful competition, except from within the team, where Rubens Barrichello, his loyal number two, was often instructed to play a supporting role. Hamilton, on the other hand, has had to fight in a more competitive era. His wins have come in an era defined by relentless technical advancements, constant rule changes, and far more balanced grids. Formula One's current regulations, including tighter cost caps and restrictions on in-season development, have created a playing field where dominance is much harder to sustain. Yet despite this, Hamilton has stood tall, consistently performing at the highest level. He won races in V8-powered cars, mastered the hybrid era that began in 2014, and continues to excel even as new generations of drivers challenge him. And the breadth of his success across different eras, regulations and technological frameworks is simply unmatched. Furthermore, Hamilton's pole position record is especially telling. Schumacher's 68 poles are impressive, but Hamilton's 104 demonstrate a level of raw pace and qualifying precision that stands on its own, and the likelihood is that this record won't ever be beaten. Pole positions are the purest expression of a driver's ability to extract the absolute maximum from a car on a single lap under pressure, and for most of his career, Hamilton has been faster than anyone on Saturday across a variety of circuits and conditions, which is a testament to his remarkable consistency and skill. One of the most critical factors in the Hamilton-Schumacher comparison is the level of competition each driver faced during their careers. Schumacher was undoubtedly a phenomenal talent, but the quality of his teammates and rivals never quite matched the caliber of those faced by Hamilton. At Ferrari, Schumacher benefited from having the team built entirely around him, and his role as Ferrari's number one driver was never in question. Rubens Barrichello, Schumacher's longest-serving teammate, was fast but was never allowed to seriously challenge him, and Barrichello himself admitted multiple times that he was forced to obey team orders that always favoured Schumacher. The infamous moment at the 2002 Austrian Grand Prix, where Barrichello was ordered to pull over and let Schumacher win, was perhaps the most glaring example of this, and while Ferrari's approach during that era is part of racing strategy, it undeniably gave Schumacher an enormous advantage within his team that Hamilton never enjoyed. In contrast, Hamilton has faced some of the toughest teammates in Formula One history. When he entered the sport in 2007, his first teammate was two-time world champion Fernando Alonso, and despite being a rookie, Hamilton went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Alonso and beat him over the course of the season. This was not a dynamic where Hamilton was the clear number one, and he was competing with a driver who, at the time, was considered the best in the world. Later, Hamilton partnered with 2009 world champion Jensen Button at McLaren. Button proved to be a respectable competitor, but Lewis did have the measure over him, and the pair enjoyed a highly competitive relationship. After joining Mercedes, Hamilton's rivalry with Nico Rosberg became legendary. Rosberg was no mere number two. He was a world-class driver who fought Hamilton tooth and nail over several seasons, and his retirement after winning the championship is telling. 
It underscores the immense psychological toll of going up against Hamilton year after year. Hamilton's ability to beat such formidable teammates underlines his superiority. Unlike Schumacher, who never faced a teammate of Alonso's caliber, Hamilton has consistently had to fight with and against the very best, within and outside his team. This further solidifies his claim to being the greatest, as he achieved his success without the benefit of a team structure entirely built around him. Hamilton's longevity in the sport is perhaps his most remarkable trait. At 39 years old, Hamilton still remains a force to be reckoned with, still competing at the highest level and defying the conventional wisdom that drivers peak in their early to mid-30s, such as Perez or Ricciardo. His endurance, both physical and mental, has allowed him to stay competitive through multiple eras of Formula One, which is a rare feat in a sport where careers are often cut short by the punishing physical demands and relentless development of the cars. Schumacher, by contrast, retired at 37 after his first stint in Formula One, having struggled to keep up with the younger Alonso in the latter part of his career. When he returned to the sport in 2010 with Mercedes, Schumacher was no longer the dominant force he had once been, and while his return was admirable, it highlighted the difficulty of maintaining peak performance in a sport that constantly evolves. Hamilton, however, continues to race at the highest level, and he is about to embark on a new challenge with Ferrari in 2025. That Hamilton can still command a top seat at a team like Ferrari at this stage of his career speaks volumes about his enduring talent and his unparalleled ability to adapt to the ever-changing landscape of Formula One. His longevity, both in terms of physical endurance and performance at the highest level, sets him apart from any other driver in the history of the sport. While Schumacher's career was marked by brilliance, it was also stained by controversy. On multiple occasions, Schumacher resorted to questionable tactics to secure championships, tarnishing his otherwise stellar record. In 1994, Schumacher collided with Damon Hill in a move that many saw as deliberate, securing his first championship under a cloud of controversy. In 1997, he was disqualified from the championship altogether after a deliberate collision with Jacques Villeneuve in the season finale. Schumacher's ruthless approach, while effective, often crossed the line into unsportsmanlike behavior. Hamilton, by contrast, has maintained a reputation for clean racing throughout his career. Even in the face of immense pressure and adversity, he has rarely resorted to the kind of underhanded tactics that Schumacher employed, and the 2021 season is perhaps the most striking example of Hamilton's sportsmanship. In the final race in Abu Dhabi, Hamilton was leading and set to win his eighth world title when a controversial and corrupted decision cost him the championship. But despite this massive injustice, Hamilton handled the situation with dignity and class, refraining from the kind of outbursts or retaliation that might have been expected in such circumstances. He took the, the farce of a situation with grace, further cementing his legacy as a true champion both on and off the track. And this isn't even mentioning how Hamilton raced clean throughout 2021 in contrast to Verstappen's terrorism. In the final analysis, Hamilton's place at the top of Formula One's pantheon of greats is unassailable. His unmatched statistics, relentless competitiveness in an era of tighter regulations and fiercer rivals, his grace under pressure, and his continued dominance well into his late thirties make him the clear goat of Formula One. Schumacher's achievements, while historic, belong to a different era, one that was more conducive to long stretches of dominance by a single driver and team. As Hamilton prepares for his next chapter at Ferrari, opens the door for more success, and at this stage of his career, it's a testament to his hunger and ability that he's still chasing new challenges, while Schumacher was long retired at the same age. The debate is over. Lewis Hamilton is the greatest Formula One driver of all time, full stop. In a sport where margins define greatness, Hamilton has consistently set himself apart from every other driver, including Schumacher. The GOAT debate can rest.